Welcome to Virtual Labs at National Institute of Technology, Karnataka. In this tutorial, I will be showing you the experimental procedure for flow through orifice meter. This is the experimental window. Yeah, aim of this experiment is to calibrate orifice meter with different beta ratios. Beta is the ratio of orifice diameter to pipe diameter. To determine the flow head relationship for orifice meter, and to determine the effect of Reynolds number on the coefficient of discharge with different beta ratios. Let's see how we can experiment with this uh, virtual tool. This is a line diagram. This is a pipe. And this is orifice plate. This is the manometer connected across this orifice plate. This is CCL4 liquid in uh, manometer in the manometer yeah let's do the experiment select nominal pipe diameter let's select some one inch pipe diameter that is this pipe diameter and orifice diameter this let's some 1.5 centimeter and corner taps like uh, a type of tappings these are where these tappings are at this corner these tappings are kept so corner tapping and selective fluid to work with water and enter a flow rate of the fluid um, through the pipe fluid flows through this pipe this flow rate can be set by a rotameter by adjusting a valve and that reading can be seen in the rotameter this flow let us keep some flow rate one five um 1 liter per 1 liter per minute and press the button calculate dp 0 0.21 this 0 0.21 is the difference between the height of the manometric fluid in this manometer that is difference between the level of ccl4 in these two limbs then set another flow rate by changing the opening the valve more reset for that reset and for something like 5 lpm calculate and proceed with the experiment for uh, 4 to 5 readings like this at higher flow rates for example take 20 it is showing up some error manometric fluid is overflowing means at higher flow rate this CCL4 overflows and comes out of these limbs then the manometer should be changed to HG manometer change it to HG manometer next flow rate twenty five thirty thirty five twenty five and repeat the same uh, same procedure for four to five readings yeah after this if you want to see the result observations what are the flow rates you have uh, entered and what are their corresponding pressure drops press the button display results these are the flow rates you have done experiment at and these are the pressure drops corresponding pressure drops with this results students are supposed to calculate Reynolds number and coefficient of discharge 
For that, I'll show a sample calculation. This is the data. Diameter of the pipe 2.66 cm that is 0.0266 meter. Diameter of the orifice 1.5 cm. Density of CCL4. Density of HG. Density of fluid that is water here and viscosity of water and this is the observations these are the flow rates we have done experiment with and their corresponding pressure drops let us see the sample calculations for flow rate 25 lpm its corresponding pressure drop is 5.43 centimeters hg Flow rate is 25 lpm and pressure drop is 5.43 centimeters of Hg. Volumetric flow rate in meter cube per second. Let us follow SI units. And this is the pressure drop in meters of water column. Rho m is the density of uh, manometric fluid. Rho is the density of the working fluid and delta hm is the pressure drop in meters of uh, manometric fluid then average velocity through orifice meter this is flow rate divided by cross sectional area at orifice so cross sectional area of orifice is pi by 4 d naught square this d naught is the diameter of the orifice 0 0.015 meters uh, sorry this is not uh, centimeters this is meters this is also meters And Reynolds number at orifice rho d naught v naught by mu rho is the density of the fluid d naught is the orifice diameter v naught is the velocity at orifice through orifice mu is the viscosity of the fluid beta is the ratio between orifice diameter to pipe diameter and this is the coefficient of discharge is calculated using this formula this is the coefficient of discharge and uh, calculate coefficient of discharge Reynolds number for all the flow rates these are the calculations these are different flow rates and pressure drop velocity through the orifice Reynolds number coefficient of discharge calculated and plot a graph between flow rate versus head for CCL4 mano set of readings and HG manometer set of readings separately on an ordinary graph sheet the plots looks like this thing these are the calibrations curves for orifice meter and then plot a graph between CD versus NRE on a semi log graph log on x axis for uh, nre after calculating reynolds number and uh, coefficient of discharge one can cross check the calculations with simulator calculated values this thing can be done by self evaluation this is the self evaluation window select a set of readings we have two sets of readings one is ccl4 one is with ccl4 manometer one is with the hg manometer and enter a flow rate let 5 lpm this windows can be resized according to the requirement
these are the values at 5 lpm reynolds number is 12550 and quotient of discharge is 0.618 and press the button next simulator displays the user calculated reynolds number and cd and simulator calculated reynolds number and cd enter another flow rate 10 25 100 and cd is 0. Six one four eight. Next, and go for next set of readings. Hg manometer. All the readings can be checked like this. Twenty five. Sixty two. Seven fifty. One. And C D is zero point. Six one zero five. Next, like this, all the values can be checked. At thirty, uh, let's see what is the Reynolds number seventy five three hundred and one seventy five three hundred and one, and uh, CD is zero point six zero seven seven, and press next. Let's see. Values are little differing from the simulator calculated values. Yeah, there is a lot of difference in uh, Reynolds number. And then press comparison plots button. This shows how much your values are deviating from the simulator calculated values. if both the values are coinciding exactly values will be on the diagonal line little de deviation means it is little deviating from the ideal value this red uh, star shows ccl4 manometer and this dot shows hg manometer similarly with uh, quotient of discharge and then press cd versus nre button this shows cd versus nre for ccl4 manometer and hg manometer for simulator and user this pink color line is the user values and blue is simulator value blue is not seen means both the values are coinciding both the lines are coincided so almost correct so like this values can be checked and if you try to enter any value any flow rate with which you have not done experiment it shows us some error not an experimental flow rate with hg manometer this is how you will proceed with the simulator tool and at any point of time if you want to go to the main window experiment window just click the button experiment this shows up This is how you will do the experiment with this tool. Thank you.